Hey everyone, my name is Shanisha Boswell and I'm the founder of Black Moms Vlog where we talk parenting, culture, and lifestyle from a black mom's point of view. Now, I know you're probably wondering why I have rollers in my hair. I'm doing hair day and I decided to do our second episode of conversations with my daughter and I thought that I would focus on hair care. What is good hair? What is good hair? What do you think of when I say good hair? So... Uh... Good hair is like, um, that smells good, and it's clean, it's like not that much germs on it, like there's a lot of good germs and not that much bad germs. So when you think about good hair, you think about whether or not it's clean, if it has germs, if it smells good, and what's in it? That there's good germs on it. When you think about good hair, do you ever think about the texture of hair or I what the texture? Okay, do you ever think about your type of hair versus like somebody else's type of hair? Like what about Elsa? I like my hair better because it's like, hers is like so straight and mine's is like curly so it can be like curly whenever it wants. And hers is just like, it's a little bit hard for us to get a little bit more. And mom is doing something right because I was not ready for that answer. So, do you understand that there's a difference in your hair and hair like Elsa's hair? What do you mean? Like you have two different hair types. So, with you being a little brown girl, your hair is thicker and more coarse. With Elsa being um, a little white girl, her hair is straighter. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just different. How many other brown girls are in your two. class at school? And do y'all have the same kind of hair? Yeah? What do you like most about your hair? Yeah, you get to twist it a lot and stuff and braid it even mommy doesn't know how to braid it. And sometimes that even if you don't know, like put the wrap on it, it's so elastic. What do you think about mommy's hair? It's like beautiful because I know how it like never gets stirred. You wash it like maybe like every like once in a week. Okay, well, not once a week, but I wash it pretty often. Growing up, I had this thing that my mom used to put in my hair. It was called a perm. Have you ever heard of a perm before? A perm is something that my mom put on my hair to make my hair straight, and it was like a chemical. And she put it on my hair, and she smoothed it out, and it would make my hair very, very straight. And sometimes it would burn my hair, and it make it kind of lengthen. But with a perm, it doesn't go back curly. It just stays straight, yeah, and it really it never goes curly ever. Not unless you cut it off and grow it out. That's what um, that's what perms did to your hair. The cool thing about your generation of kids, that means like kids that are the same age as you, a lot of us as parents, we're kind of learning that, that teaching you to embrace your natural hair is actually better than trying to convince you that you need a perm or you need somebody else's hair. It made your hair straight like Elsa's versus how your hair now, how you can wear it in an afro, or you can wear it two strand twist, or you can wear it curly. It just made it one way and you couldn't take it back. So what do you think about people that have different kinds of hair than you do? Have you ever have you ever seen someone's hair where you wish you had their hair? Yes. Who? Her name is Lucy at my school. Mm -hmm. And it's like, always like curly all the time. Like, I don't get it. I don't know how her hair like just stays like curly. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like always curly. Do you think Lucy has good hair? Mm -hmm. Do you think that you have good hair? Do you think that mommy has good hair? Mm -hmm. Do you think that Elsa has good hair? Uh, and so this is kind of what I've learned from Cameron about hair. According to you, everybody almost has good hair. Does it matter if the hair is straight or curly or in an afro or in twist? It's still good, right? Mm -hmm. And what about your hair? Your hair is what? Mine is twisted. Yours is twisted, but it's also very beautiful. And it's very versatile. How many ways can you wear your hair? What are some of your favorite ways to wear your hair? Curly. Curly. Afro. Afro. Plaited. Plaited. Maybe braids. Yeah, I've made braids in my hair. True. I haven't made braids because I can't braid, but... You like them, right? You do? There's something that I wanna tell you about hair care products. 
So your hair is connected to your scalp. And what's under your scalp? Skin. Skin. What's under your skin? Uh huh. Blood. But what's this? What's this thing called? Scalp. Skull. Skull. Okay. What's inside of your skull? Scalp. Your brain. Where's your brain? Brain. Your brain. So your brain is inside of your scalp. Whatever you put on your hair can actually affect your brain. And thinking about what you put on your scalp can affect your brain. What kind of things do you want to use on your scalp? What kind of products would you want to put on your scalp? She immediately understands that she doesn't want to put anything that's dangerous on her scalp. Why wouldn't you want to put anything dangerous on your scalp or in your hair? Because it can affect my brain. It can affect your brain. These are things that we didn't know about when we were younger. So things like perms can affect your brain and because they're chemical and they're dangerous and they were actually causing a lot of women, especially black women, to get sick. Do you know why it was and supposed to get cancer? And get cancer, yeah. At least it didn't happen to me because mommy stopped getting perms about 13 years ago. <laughs> that was the last time I got a perm. So yeah, for me growing up, I didn't realize that. I didn't know. Um, my mom probably didn't know. Nobody knew that perms were causing cancer. And so we've gotten better about using certain products in our hair that are safe and don't have a lot of chemical. And that's why like mommy uses a lot of like, we use a lot of waters and oils, but we don't really use chemical on your hair, right? Your hair is your crown. Yours too. Like, it's like, uh, definitely like, like right now. It looks like a crown right now? Yeah. Okay. It does kind of look like a crown. So it's very important for you to know that your hair is beautiful, that you have good hair. You need to be like really careful of the products you use on your hair. You need to be careful of the products you use on your hair. Why is that? Because sometimes you like use you use like the wrong things or like make the hair smell or something. Mm -hmm. How do the products affect that? This is a short conversation on hair care and always knowing that it's important to talk to our daughters about their hair. Because your hair is important, right? You love it? I love you. I love you. That's our episode two on what is good hair. And I want to know, have you had the conversation with your daughters or your sons about their hair care? And um, if you want to see me take down this style, just go to my personal account, which is at Shanisha Boswell to see what this is all going to look like when it's down. Stay tuned for episode three. Bye. 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 <laughs>